Hi everyone, it's Emma from Link Cable. Today we are going to be making for Tasty Fridays a beef burger and sweet potato chili chips. Um, the recipe that we've got serves for, I'm going to do half the recipe because there's only two of us. Um, so I've adjusted my ingredients accordingly. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'll just talk through what we've done so far because we've done a bit of prep beforehand uh, and then we're going to put our chips straight into the oven. So what I have done already is I have cut up uh, one sweet potato. It was quite a big one. It does say four large on the recipe depending on how much you like sweet potato chips. That is just one sweet potato so it does quite a few chips so I've coated them in oil and put in the chili flakes as well so they are ready to go into the oven I've also got my mints ready I'm using 250 grams of mints I've cut up part so I've had a whole onion and what I've done is I've sliced enough to put inside the burgers um, when we enjoy them at the end with the lettuce um, and I've also cut up half again so a quarter of an onion which we're going to put in with the mince to make the burgers i've got grated parmesan uh, tomato ketchup i've got the chili flakes which we can also put into the burgers if we want to and then i've got some small burger buns as well so first thing we're going to do is i've already set my oven and it's been warming up so it is on at the moment 200 degrees which is a fan oven if you were using a normal oven it would be 220 if it's a gas mark it's gas mark 7 so what I'm going to do is I've already put my tray into the oven with a little bit of oil on it already to warm up because I find it the chips cook better when they've got they're on a heated oil pan so what I've done is I'm just going to carefully open the oven get the tray out it on the top and then I'm going to carefully put my chips on the tray I want to make sure that it's only a single layer of chips we don't want them on top of each other so I'm not going to pour them on because I don't want them resting up against each other we want them kind of loose next to each other so this could take a little bit longer but we want to make sure that the chips are all properly cooked Okay, so what I've done is I've put the sweet potatoes on the baking tray. I have washed my hands because they were all sticky with the oil and the flavouring. So now we're going to put those straight into the oven. I'm going to put them on the top shelf so they get um, most of the heat. I'm just going to pop those in there. So now those are in, we're going to put them on for 15 minutes. So we're going to put them on 15 minutes and then we're going to turn them over to make sure they cook on both sides um, and then we'll, we'll um, come back to them at that time. So 15 minute time is on. Right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make the burgers. So what we're going to need to do is we can use the bowl that we already had and we can add in the mince the onion that we've chopped up we can put a couple bits more chili flakes in and we're going to put the tomato ketchup and the parmesan in as well okay so now we're going to move on to getting making the burgers so i've got my ingredients here i'm first of all i'm going to take the mince out of the packet making sure i don't collect the paper underneath and i'm going to break this into the bowl so we don't have it in really long strips. Carefully go through my fingers. And then the other half. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly wash my hands because I've had the meat on it before I add the other ingredients. So now I've washed my hands, I'm going to add in the onion that we chopped up earlier. I didn't grate it because it was finding I was finding it very hard to grate the onion, so I've just chopped it up really small. Um, so I'm just going to pour that in there. Get all the juices off. Okay, the next we are going to add in the parmesan. So my parmesan is already open. 
So, in the recipe it says one tablespoon, but I'm doing half, so I need half a tablespoon. Okay, I'm going to drizzle that in. Um, and next thing we're going to add is the tomato ketchup. And again, we need, it says one tablespoon, but we're doing half the recipe, so I'm going to put half a tablespoon in. That will help to stick the burgers together. Next, we're just going to add a sprinkle of chilli flakes to give it a bit of extra flavour, not too many, just a couple in there. And we are also going to add some pepper. Okay, and what we're going to do next is we're going to get the tablespoon that we just used and we're going to mix it up. What we'll do is we're mixing all that onion and the parmesan and the ketchup and as you can see it's coming together nicely okay so next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our hands dirty again now so what we're going to do is we're going to use our hands to shape them into the burgers so i'm just going to scrape it off my spoon and then with my clean hands, what I'm going to do is my recipe was supposed to make four burgers from it. So I'm going to split it in half using my fingers. So I'm splitting the mixture in half and then I can split it in half again to make the right size burgers. So I'm going to make it into a slight ball and then I can flatten it afterwards. And I've got a little plate ready to go. So you can shape them afterwards into the right size. And the next one, this one looks slightly bigger, but that's all right. There we go, there's our second one. And then split the last mixture into Try and get as equal as possible where you can. Again, shake them in the palm of your hand and then you can sort it out when you put it onto the plate. So there it goes, the third one. And the final one, making sure that we're taking up all the onions And there are our four burgers ready to go. So we've got about seven and a half minutes until the chips need turning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my hands and we'll come back in seven minutes and I'll show you how to turn the chips over. Okay, so the 50 minute timer has gone off. I've taken them out of the oven and I'm just carefully using the tongs, flipping them over. Um, as you can see, I've done half of them already. Um, just flipping over the other half so that they cook properly on both sides as you can see the top side that I've just turned over on these ones is not as crisp as the other ones because they've started to cook um, so I'm just going to turn them over so that they get to cook properly at the bottom as well and what we'll do is we'll put them in for a further five minutes um, and then we'll pop in the burgers as well. So um, I will carry on turning these over um, and then put them straight back in the oven for another five minutes and then we'll come back when that five minutes is up. Okay, so the timer has gone off of, um, in the five minutes. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the burgers. Um, I've got another tray 
hopefully you might have space on your tray with your chips um, but we're going to have to make another tray dirty because there is not enough space so what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully peel off the burgers and I'm going to place them onto the tray, it should be nice and warm um, and these are going to go in the oven now for 10 minutes which is how long it should take for the rest of the chips to be done the last one in there you go what I have done in the meantime is I have cut up the rolls um, what I've done I know I've got meaty fingers but what I've done is I've cut them but I've not cut them all the way across so they can open up and you can wedge your burger in put your salad in without breaking the, bur um, the bun at the back all right, so I'm just going to wash my hands and put those in the oven and I've set my timer for 10 minutes so once they've gone in I will press start and it will be 10 minutes till our dinner is ready. Okay, so our timer's just gone off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything out of the oven and just check that it's cooked. Looks like the chips. I'm going to get those out first so I can put them towards the back. Looking lovely and brown. And also going to grab the burgers, just being careful because there probably will be a lot of meat juice on there. Okay, looking good. Close that oven off. I've made sure I've turned it off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to carefully put the burgers into the buns. Just making sure I've got a clear path to the burgers. Just being careful. We might need to hold on to the tray as you get these out. Get some of the juice out, and then we can put them straight into the buns. Into the burgers ones. Quite a lot of juice coming out of these. Should be good. So we've put ours in buns so we can have kind of like a barbecue meal but if you are wanting to be a bit healthy you can do it without the buns and just have the burgers and the chips with some salad or without the chips you could just have a burger and salad. Um, I'm going to put the salad items on now so I'm going to put the onion rings on first. And the lettuce leaves on top. Make sure they don't fall out as I put them in. Okay, I've probably done a bit too much lettuce, so I might save some for my lunch tomorrow. So what you can do is you can add a bit more cheese if you want to, you could add, let says send the recipe to add tomato um, and I'm just going to put my chips onto my plate but that is our beef burgers and chilli chips, um, I will see you next time.